is a way that we're showing visually what happens if there's not proper intake. If you're looking at it from above or looking yep. at it at an angle with the light behind it, look at the it. You can see the holes here and you can see the just, and this is pretty common. And you can even see what happens to the NFA. NFA goes way down and we can cheat and let, let more air in and it'll go up faster. It still allows for great airflow. So just so you know, I'm not cheating. So th this is how they test vents, right? <laughs> this, is, this is a way that we're showing visually what happens if there's not proper intake. And I would tell you that all soffit is not the same. Though okay. these look very similar, uh, you couldn't hardly tell the difference. You can see that one is dented yeah, yeah. and one is vented. We, we prefer to make vented soffit, not dented soffit. There's guys in the market today. How, how many, like I've seen, I mean, I guess, most, now most I people, see the difference. So, so yeah, you, you, do you here, see a lot of these? Yes, yeah, so like a lot of our competition today. So from a soffit standpoint, you want your attic to breathe. You don't want to have it suffocate out because when you do, you create a weather pattern in yeah. your attic. Nobody wants a weather pattern in your attic. You don't want your nails to be rain. What, what we found is most guys are denting it and you can kind of see and feel that one is dented and one is yep, vented. Definitely. If you're looking at it from above or looking yep. at it at an angle with the light behind it, you can see that there's a huge difference. Now, seeing is believing on one aspect, but I think if we're, if we're looking at it from the other side over here Hold and we plug it into the fan, look at the stuff. you can see the holes here and you can see the just, and this is pretty common, huh? That, yep. Uh, this is cut from a, we went to a, a distribution yard, bought pieces, cut them up, and that's just inserted in here today. Wow, let's yep. see how, and this one is yours. So this is our hidden vent. Yep. yep, so this is the hidden vent soffit. So really cool, clean looks, because yeah. you're thinking about soffit. Let's see how all three perform. Okay, we can plug them all in. This is gonna, so I'm gonna show you a couple things. We'll do one. And it's a very we'll, cool machine, by the we'll way. We'll just turn a fan on, so you can see that I'm not, uh, not blowing smoke here. Let's let it warm up for a sec. Um, so I, we, we like to talk about NFA. NFA is what, what allows your house to breathe. It's in that free air. You can see what happens when you get good airflow, right? Air's coming in and it creates an exhaust at the top if you're using a good ridge vent. I'm gonna put the dented soffit. This is not our soffit. This is one we bought from a distributor and you can even see what happens to the NFA. NFA goes way down and if your NFA is going down, and the ridge vent requires an 18, but you're not getting a nine on each side. This is what's gonna happen in your attic. A 3% increase in moisture will bring your R value down, as much, or 4%, excuse me, 4% could bring it down the insulation value as much as 80%. Now there's different insulations that are out there, so make sure we're talking the same one to the same one. And I'll just show you what happens, it's just so you know I'm not cheating, We'll let all the air in. This is what it should look like. You should have your NFA high. You don't want low NFA because when you have low NFA, your attic's gonna suffocate and weather patterns are gonna create. Your insulation's gonna go down and it's gonna cause mold and mildew issues. So at QE's got kind of this, our, our soffits are, are well ventilated. I'll show you kind of how that works here. You can see that ours, it does slow down a little but it still gets great airflow, right? And you don't want a hot attic in the winter or in the summer when it gets too hot, you don't want it beaten up like your water glass does. You want it to kind of flex with what the temperature is outside. Um, I'll show you one other one. This is our hidden vent. Uh, so this is not our highest NFA. And you can tell because there's a lot less holes, but it still would allow you to meet code on a 12 inch overhang, which is what we measure on a 12 inch overhang. When we install, it still holds a high one. I, I like to turn it off just to kind of show you that, hey, this is a, this is a good NFA. It would exceed code for a 12-inch overhang if you're using a ridge vent. That would require, require an 18 NFA. This one still gets you there, not quite like our other one, our fully vented wood. But this allows you to have the same look or a, a same, same ventilation that's needed, but a much cleaner, crisp line and a much better look. And you can see that it's not going up quite as fast, right? And we can cheat and let, let more air in and it'll go up faster. It still allows for great airflow. And I think that's where we're, we're real passionate about some of the things that we do here. Design is one of them, function is another. Gotta make sure that your design matches your function. And why is that, just like their process? Yep, so 
it, yeah, so there's a lot of different ways that you can, can go. We, we prefer to make sure that we're, we're getting the most out of every pass. Uh, and when your tools get dull, if you don't sharpen them, you get dented soffits, right? And so I think there's, there's ways dented to Dented versus? Dented versus vented. <laughs> so we want to make sure you guys all have fully vented soffits so that your contractors and your builders don't, don't get in trouble for not meeting code. Love it.